and agriculture are blamed as major contributors to greenhouse gas emissions, but chances are these animals are much less guilty. They have been fed a grass known as brachiaria, as well as experimental hybrids, that could dramatically cut agriculture's contribution to global warming. Raimundo Cruz works in the cattle industry. He recommends brachiaria grasses for livestock. These cattle get fat very easy and offer better gains because this grass has more protein and is easier to digest. Cows fed on brachiaria excrete much less methane, a greenhouse gas. And Cruz says by rotating pineapple and brachiaria grasses every six to eight years, he has tripled the number of cows per hectare and eliminated the use of commercial fertilizers. This soil is usually very poor, it could only grow low grasses, but by rotating pineapple and brachiaria grasses, we have increased its fertility so much that it allows us to have these grasses only seen in fertile lands. Brachiaria is a grass for grazing widely planted in the tropics. Recently, scientists in Colombia with Japanese partners discovered that besides being easy to digest and highly nutritious for cattle, brachiaria improves soil quality and significantly reduces greenhouse gases emitted by cattle and commercial fertilizers. This is the inflorescence, and each one of these is a seed. Indupulapati Rao is studying brachiaria at the International Center for Tropical Agriculture, or CIAT, in Cali, the third largest city in Colombia. These grasses, with their root systems, exude a particular chemical compound, organic compound, that is called brachialactone. And that chemical, he explains, triggers a process that inhibits the transformation of nitrogen in the soil into a powerful greenhouse gas. Most commercial fertilizers used in agriculture worldwide use nitrogen as the main nutrient. Yeah, right now nitrogen fertilizer itself is like 150 million tons per year around the world. Nitrogen fertilizers emit greenhouse gases 300 times more potent than CO2, the most common greenhouse gas emitted by cars and industry. Rao says CIAD is researching the genetic map of brachiaria. If we know what genes are involved, in production of this chemical and the release of this chemical into soil, then if we can put these genes into major field crops like maize, like wheat and rice. At SEAD, scientists believe brachiaria and its genes could have other benefits. Here, the white bags contain seeds of different varieties of brachiaria. Scientists are studying their attributes, including resistance to drought, floods and major pests, as well as ability to tolerate acid soil. In other fields like this one, a hybrid brachiaria is planted between rows of legumes. Luis Horacio Franco is an agronomist at CIAT. The soil is like a bank. If you just withdraw and withdraw all the nutrients, the soil goes bankrupt. While scientists continue to study brachiaria's genome, they hope to spread the use of brachiaria grasses to tropical regions in Africa and Asia. From Cali, Colombia, this is Sulima Palacio, BOA News.